Okay, so I've done this trick. I think I've showed this trick once before, but one trick that I have for uh, when you need to place a track that's running along here is to do uh, pretty much this and then delete these. And then you can get a nice straight track on here. That's right up against the platform there as if it's part of the platform. Um, and then we can go back in the configure here and we can just cut off the ends. Um, yeah, I'm not going to have it do a run through there. We're going to go along the side of it because it's an industry. <laughs> we don't do that. All right, so if I connect that up to there. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Unfortunately, we can't connect necessarily right away because although we might be able to, uh, if we do some curved bits there, we, we should be able to. Um, oh, boy. Wish I had fought this through better earlier, because this is where it becomes a bit of a pain. Um, I think this is the right shape for it, but I'm not positive, because if I connect up to here, That should be there. I didn't quite do that right, did I? <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work too well. Um, <laughs> what did I do at the steel mill again? Oh, yeah, well, the steel mill was divided like that, sure. Although, actually, that could be the solution this time as well. Okay, after a significant amount of time of fiddling around here, I think we've got the stations uh, set up. It's now a much faster uh, turn through there. It's not as sharp. I mean, just to give you an idea here, look at that. And look at that. It's, a, it's an improvement. Um, we could probably get more speed if... Uh, can we move this down one? We can. Um, okay, yeah, back to the drawing board, folks. Okay, so after having uh, messed around with it a bit here, I think this is a lot better. Uh, sometimes, really, the numbers uh, say it all. Which one is it? Yeah, it's that one. So if you look through here, it's an 80 in there. Ooh, now we're up to 110 through here. That's pretty good. Um... I'm happy with that. I love how slowly this would have been considered very good and stuff. We're slowly sinking into the poor of air as far as speed simply because, you know, the new 120 is considered slow now. Um, once again, when we get to trying to do more high speed train stuff, which I think is going to happen, um, we'll upgrade to the high speed rail. <laughs> Okay, so we now I think have everything hooked up the way it should be and I don't see this changing um, The the switch here didn't move but uh, the connection of obviously moved over it was going through there Actually, I think I did move the switch up just a little bit uh, So it shortened that stretch just a tiny bit there There's a lot of old track that needs cleaned up in between here, but this is pretty good uh, we also got all this in here that needs to be removed and uh, this road's gonna have to be redrawn. So yeah, that that's a uh, good progress there, I'd say. Um, now we just gotta actually buy some trains and start making profit here. Uh, unfortunately, I still have to uh, locate a depot between here, a depot between here, um, and we gotta figure out how the tools factory's gonna hook up. The good news is, I think. 
we should be able to, um, without much difficulty, we should be able to get like um, something that allows it to hook up onto here like this. This this should be um, something should be possible here. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to look like. It might look like something like this, although that's pretty tight through there. Uh, based off of a best, you know, little guess here. Theoretically, that would be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so we could get tools going this way, or if we're feeling particularly adventurous, uh, we could um, somehow hook up like so. Uh, so set up some branch connections. Um, I think this would be the wiser way to do it because this is just going to be too difficult. Um, plus, oh no, Lexington does want tools and Reno wants tools, but uh, it's much fit quickly, fit more efficient to ship the tools from there than to go down this long stretch. So um, assuming Houston doesn't want tools, we can just plug into this existing line here. Just come here, hook in. So we're not going to delete any of the track in here yet. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but yeah, I'll tear out this here. Um, so that just leaves buying trains, locating a depot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> locating depots is going to be the real challenge here um, because I want to have it where depots are available to constant, you know, to add trains easily and not have to have a train go a long distance to get to, uh, you know, to get from the depot to its route. OK, so I've noticed a slight issue here. Um, we got to redo this area here. I didn't put the crossover in and uh, that that could be a big issue. Um, this should be closer. And I found that when it's not, that usually is a sign that there's something kind of off about it and from the looks of it there might actually be so i'm gonna, gonna tear this stretch out here um let's put a nice straight 120 in here yeah it's still wanting to do that Yeah, see, it's that curve issue. Um, so what we want to do here, I think, is I think we're going to want to level this out a bit. Actually, I should use the flatten tool here. That should be enough. All right, let's try it now. All right, yeah, we're right on the switch there. Um, unfortunately, now it's not even wanting us to draw the line there. Um, I think it's going the wrong way with it again. Yeah, it was probably going the wrong way. All right, well, it's in. That's the good news. Well, actually, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that because we got to trim that. Oops, that was a mistake. Um... I think I want to trim it just a bit more, just so that we get, you know, we come out of this, you know, looking about right. All right, put that in. Um, we should at least put um, a signal for this way. That way it doesn't bind things up there. We can get trains and stuff. Uh, there needs to be actually uh, signals you know, before the um, before there, just so that no trains once again ever uh, come to a stop on the tracks there, or not on the tracks on the road. And there should probably be one here in the bridge, so like that and like one. There, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. OK, so I've also redone. Um, I've reconnected up to this. Uh, uh, to the uh, Lexington Forest, is that or is that Houston? No, that's Houston Forest, the first one. And then also I've connected to uh, Lexington Sawmill number two again. The reason being is 
uh, I was looking things over here and I realized, oh, right, we need to get the planks to the machines factory. And I want to have a dedicated supply of planks coming from the sawmill for that. So we're going to use Houston sawmill and Houston force number two to deliver planks to the uh, machines factory to make machines. And that's going to be a very important machines factory. Yeah, there's there's no entry signal. There's nothing here as far as signals. Uh, so it's a good thing I didn't put the trains, you know, buy any trains yet. Um, that could have been bad. We need to, we need to put at least two signals like that. Yeah, that's fine. And we might as well disconnect this. Uh, this is probably not going to be used now. So yeah, we'll just disconnect it there. And everything else should be fine. And yeah, we got our entry signal there. Although actually, there's supposed to be signals here and here. All right, and the other thing I was able to quickly do is I also put in a, uh, a uh, it's a train depot here. And that's hooked up in here. So this is a little tight in here, but this is rarely going to be used. Um, and the signal shouldn't be a problem. Um, coming off here from, uh, you know, the tools factory, basically the trains will go this way. This is not great, but um, the alternative is pretty much worse. So yeah, we're, we're left with what we can work with here. Um, but yeah, basically this bridge is going that once again, we're losing a, a bridge we just put in. Uh, but I think this will be actually, you know, if we move the station down further, um, yeah, let's move the station down further here. Oh, shoot. Um, I shouldn't have done that because there's still trains on this here that need to get over there. Um, I think we can. I think there's a way we can make this work still with that. So uh, let's go into configure here. Um, let's move it down three sections worth. Seems good. And we can delete these sections here. Yeah, that will give us more room to work with some things there. Um, probably could have redid this slightly differently. Um, Let's also recenter buildings there. So this building, this is about center, I'd say. So we'll put it there. We'll add uh, some level two ones there on the sides. All right, so that should be good for our tools factory. And we'll reconnect the track up here. Oh, wrong tool again. Uh, actually, we want this lane. We only need the one. And yeah, let, let's uh, let's just build. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. I mean, that will work. And um, we can once it hmm, let's draw our one twenty here and put in our crossover. Mm, once you know it, it's right on the point there, the seam. I'll settle for 59. And we can 
We can redo this a bit here. It's going to have a slightly gra more gradual slope. There, that's better. Uh, and of course, we're going to redo this. We can get a, we can probably get a wider turn out of that. All right, we got to go further because uh, we're putting in a 50 switch here. Oh, that was pretty, pretty good there. Yeah, I wasn't locked in. All right, there we go. Nicely snapped. Sixty and one twenty for our crossover here. Then trim the ends. And let's see what we can do here. It may be worth it to uh, try and move even further down there. All right, we'll start with the inner here. Um, yeah, that's not what I want to do. I think we can do a little better than that. Out of curiosity, where is that point? Okay, it's right there. So. What if we came right off of it? What can we get with that? All right, so it goes from like 83 down to 70. Well, all right, yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. We'll go right off of the point. And that will make uh, signaling actually easier. Okay, so for our signaling in this stretch, what we're going to do is, uh, once again, we need to signal to block this way and um, let's move this signal here all the way up to there. We'll put a signal there. We'll get rid of these two here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I think I'm going to redo the bridge just slightly because there is a slight um, clipping issue there. Maybe we can get rid of that. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay, that's better. All right, much better. Um, there should be some more signaling here. Um, but I think it will be fine. All right, so we just got to put our entry signals in for these sections. So, uh, entry signal here, entry signal here, and we also need to signal the bridge here. Kind of seems pointless to put that signal in over there, so we'll do it this way. And we'll put it here and here. That should be fine for signaling. Uh, this stretch has pretty much been left untouched here. Um, the only thing I really want to do is I want to make sure I put that switch a signal there. Okay, so that should take care of all of our signaling. Um, we can now buy some trains, although um, I should probably try and get a uh, state deep over there, but we can do that later for now. This is operational. So um, we can no longer purchase what um, the engine we used to purchase. So we're going to have we're going to go with the 10 wheeler. Um, you know, we don't need too much power for this. Um, at least. Well, what's this one doing again? Yeah, we're doing a passenger first, so we're going to do that. 
Uh, we're going to add two um, of the six axles. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new line here. Uh, it's going to go Houston to Victorville. Yeah, I signaled that. All right. Um, and so we need to make sure we name it here. Houston to Victorville. And we're going to assign it to a passenger color. I actually remember that. It's been a while since we've uh, created a passenger train there. All right, and this is gonna need a new line as well. And this is going to be, hmm, let's do Houston to actually, let's, get, let's, uh, let's start off with Lexington. So where's Lexington? Okay, yeah, Lexington moved over there, right. So let's do Lexington to Houston. This way, by the time the train gets to Lexington, there might be some people from Lexington willing to go to Houston. And if not, well, hopefully by then Houston will have some people. Oh, we got some issues here. Um, first, let's name it and change the color here. So Lexington to Houston. OK, and the line color needs to change to green. Um, th what's the issue here? This is, uh, okay, so yeah, we gotta fix this street here. Um, it just needs an upgrade. So city, level two, upgrade, and we want electric. There we go. So that other thing we need to do is we need to move this stop. This stop cannot be there. It's, uh, too far away. So, um... That's under buildings. It's the first one there. We'll put it right where that light is. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so where's our trolley? There's our tram. I should say tram. Um, we're going to want to hit manage line here. Um, oh, yeah, this is a four stop route. All right, so we're not starting at Sun Street anymore. We are starting at... Davis Street, apparently. So let's get rid of Sunset Street there. So everything's good there. We can now safely delete the old state as uh, the old stop there. So one, two, three, four. Yep, that looks good.